So welcome to Nevermind the Shuttlecocks, the highlight show here at the Yonex All England Badminton Championships with me, Brian Lacey. I'm joined by Martin Court and Rob Short. Court and Short, like a 70s detective duo kicking off the, oh, uh, I love that. Uh, I love that. the work here at Badminton. So look, look what, what have we got in front of us? We've got five days of championships with someone like me who's new to this sport. Martin, what can they expect? What, what do people usually misconceive about this sport? Uh, I suppose the easiest way to put it is if we compare it to another sport. Uh, if, we look at, if we look at tennis, the average tennis game lasts twice as long as a badminton game. But in that time, a badminton player covers twice as distance and twice as many shots. So the speed, the agility, the power, the stamina is, is immense, right? And we bring everybody together uh, at the championships once a year, the tournament means everything to, to everybody globally, whether it's broadcasters, fans and players. So what you're basically saying is tennis players are lazy. That's basically what you're putting there. They, they, they have half a game while you have twice the game, You didn't right? say that, Pretty but. much. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Right? So we need to look at prize money. That's it. Ah. We'll work that out. Uh, but look, Rob. The but, other... but yeah, yeah. But picking up on the power thing, I think it's really important to say that like, the speed. I mean, this is over 400 kilometers an hour. A smash can go that quickly. I mean, it takes me like 10 minutes to get out of bed in the morning. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's crazy when you think of it like that. It's absolutely unbelievable. Well, look, we've got five days of exciting action in front of us. Uh, it all kicks off tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday, that's the first day of the tournament, kicks off with the women's doubles to start with. I mean, what should we be looking at for there? Which are the pairs that we need to keep our eye on? Yeah, so there's, I mean, it's, it's an, it, all of the disciplines are going to be really competitive this week. Um, women's doubles, um, I think uh, there, there are a number of pairs who could win. Obviously, you've got the uh, the holders at the moment, um, Ken, Chen King Chen and Jia Yifan. Listen, that's what we're going to test yeah. as well, your Yeah, I know. I feel like I nearly nailed that. I nearly got it spot on. <laughs> yeah, but so yeah. they're last year's champions they won the World Tour Finals, so they're, they're definitely favourites for this year. Yeah, and obviously you've got uh, Mayu Matsumoto and uh, Wakana Nagahara. They they lost the final uh, last year. Um, we actually caught up with them earlier in the week, which we'll see later on on Nevermind the Shuttlecocks later in the week. Um, but I think they've got a really good chance as well. Look, it's all open. You know, that's the great thing about this tournament. Anyone can win. You know, it's the best players here. It's the top top 32 in the world. We Just don't got know. Goosebumps, mate. Got excited. Know, you yes. looked in my eyes yes. and I'm excited about it. Uh, that's the women's doubles. What about the women's singles then? Yeah. Well, if we're saying anyone can win the women's doubles, the women's singles, possibly the most open discipline here this week. I mean, I could give you a list of, I think, about eight names. You've got Ratchanokia Tanon, you've got Tai Tzu Ying, um, you've got uh, Chen Yufei, who won last year and obviously then won at the World Tour Finals as well. Um, you've got PV Sindhu, you've got Saina Naval. I mean, I literally... Some of the greatest just, names I've ever heard, by uh, the way. Uh, I, and also, playing... I nailed the pronunciation <laughs> of every single one of them. But no, honestly, like, that list of the women's singles is amazing. I mean, you've got you've got your favourite, haven't you? Go on. Well, I think I think this year the person who's gunning for it the most is going to be PV Sindhu. Yeah. So disappointed in, in previous years, and she really wants it. We caught up with her earlier in the week. Um, she's really excited to be here. The tournament means a lot to her, so I think we should be keeping our eye on her. Yeah, and her dad is amazing. Yes. So her dad. Her dad you made that sound creepy, mate. Yeah, sorry. Well, that, her dad, that's just going to be a recurring theme of the whole show, <laughs> I would guess. No. Um, but no, he basically he makes. Um, so sorry, I should start off with he's a former international volleyball, volleyball player, yeah. um, and he does these videos <laughs> online of making curry. What? I know, it's amazing. Look awesome. And he showed us making, he made a biryani and showed us the video. It looks amazing. Wow, well, this is going to move from uh, badminton to a cookery program <laughs> yeah, very, yeah, very quickly. Yeah, I need no on. second invitation on that <laughs> run. So. so come on, the, another one you've mentioned to me is Carolina Marin. Carolina yes. Marin, right. So she is one of our favourites on this show. She's done loads of stuff for us. Um, she's basically, um, she won it five years ago. Um, and she's had some injury problems in the last year. Yeah. But she came back with a bang at the end of last year. Um, and uh, she's the reigning Olympic champion. Um, a lot going for her. Uh, and basically, uh, we, we caught up with her, um, as I said. Uh, earlier, uh, earlier this month, we went out to the European Team Championships. Um, and this is the interview with Carolina. Carolina Marin, reigning Olympic champion three-time world champion, four-time European champion, former winner of the, the All England back in 2015. If you retired tomorrow, would you be happy? Um, well, I would like to, to win some more big titles, like um, another uh, Olympic medal, gold medal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, maybe next year, uh, the World Championship will be in my hometown in Huelva. So oh, wow. it would be great 
to to win there yeah. um and i would like to to win some more all england championship yeah, of course of course the all england tell me about growing up in in huelva you're obviously quite a proud andalusian um what was it like and how did you sort of get into badminton well, it was uh, like a strength because, you know, badminton is not really popular in Spain. And um, I just started when I was uh, eight years old. And um, at that time, I just uh, danced flamenco as a hobby. And uh, one of my friends, uh, she knew about badminton. And uh, one day I came uh, with her to the hall. And um, yeah, it was some attractive, like uh, it was weird that uh, the racket, the, the shot to cook and uh, all those stuff. And um, yeah, I just uh, keep practicing uh, Just took to week. it straight yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. It's amazing. Exactly. I, I was fascinated to see that you sort of had a choice between flamenco and, yeah. and, and, and badminton. What made you choose badminton over the, over the dancing? Well, maybe because, uh, you know, my teammates in the, in the flamenco group, they just uh, maybe wanted to to stop and uh, wanted to continue to with the with their studies and uh, and me too because I have to yeah, sure. to study for sure. But um, I mean, I just uh, like a lot to play badminton and um, and I was getting um, a bit better uh, and and then I changed to the to the club in my hometown. Uh, so this is maybe why I just yeah, uh, sure. choose badminton instead of flamenco. So you became world champion at like literally 21. I mean, that's so, so young. Like, yeah. how did that, did that sort of change you in any way? Or, or did that make you more determined to, right, I've had this feeling of being world champion. I want to keep going and achieve more. What, what was the, um, mind, the Well, you know, in that uh, world championship, it was in 2014. Our goal it was just to to get a medal, but yeah. you know when we reached the semi final, I had a conversation with my coach uh, Fernando, and uh, he asked me about uh, okay we just uh, got a medal and now what color do you want? And I say I want the gold one. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, and he say okay so we are going to fight for the gold one. We knew that uh, it's going to be really difficult because in the final uh, I faced uh, Lee Shui Rui, mm. that uh, she was of course the, the favorite for, for that title and uh, I mean she just beat all the players in two games, uh, very easy, just maybe she played Massimo like around 40 minutes on court and I was so so tired for, for that final yeah, and I, feel, I felt my legs really really tight and you know when I, when I got uh, when I get on court, I just thought that uh, oh my god, I can't. <laughs> this I, is it. I, I Forget even, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I even uh, silver's fine. <laughs> so okay, I just um, I mean I just want to enjoy. I will yeah. of course do my best, but uh, I'm not sure if I if I will win. Uh, but then I just lost the the first game. I was uh, losing the second one. Uh, it was 11-7, and then my coach told me something that. Uh, maybe my mind and my body just changed everything and I just forgot about my my tired and uh, if I felt some stress in my body I just f I forgot about everything and I just play yeah. I was focused on my strategy what uh, about what I have to do against her and I just um, gave everything on court Perfect. and then this is how I I won my first uh, world championship. That is amazing because I read that that was quite a similar thing to your All England final. So obviously a year later, yeah, more or less. it's pretty much the same <laughs> yeah. story, isn't it? Yes. Um, and I read somewhere that you just sort of decided somewhere in the second game when I think Sainer had got a few yeah, points ahead, you were just like, oh, leading. do you know what? I'm just going to enjoy leading. this and just see and just see what happens. What do you remember about that tournament? Because obviously. Um, looking at the build up to that final, the pressure seemed to be all on Sainer because yeah. of the expectation, you know, of, a, of, a, of an Indian winner yeah. and, and this sort of. Did that help you in a way? Because there was just less expectation on you naturally because there was so much focus on Sainer. Yeah, but I mean, I, I didn't keep uh, any focus on about uh, if uh, people support Sainer in, yeah, in, yeah. in that time. I mean, I just wanted to give my best, just wanted to fight until the end, and I think this is what I did. There is just suddenly a moment where yeah, exactly. everything comes together, where, yeah. and it's just like, I think of the of the stuff of the badminton I've seen, I think it was one of the best, certainly that last game was the best game of, of badminton <laughs> I've seen. Do you think it was your best ever game, that last game, you just seemed to, everything you tried came off? You know, I learned a lot from, from that tournament, from that uh, final, and uh, Saina, I mean, uh, my coach just uh, told me many times that uh, Saina gave us a, a really good uh, mm. strategy, and uh, and thanks to, to her because I improved a lot of my game. So what would it mean to you 
Sunday 15th of March to be stood on that All England podium again. Five years on, what would it mean to you? Uh, well, you know, All England for me is always a very special tournament. I'm really looking forward to play this year. Uh, it's one of my goal before the Olympic Games to, to win a, a big title and of course, mm. especially the All England. So um, I'm really looking forward. I will do my best. I will prepare really good uh, the All England. You know, I'm here at the, at the European Team Championship, but uh, I'm preparing for, for that tournament. So a part of the of the games here with the with the with the girls um, I'm preparing myself to yeah, sure. for sure. that tournament yeah good well that's that's good to hear for us <laughs> and our fans because I think speak for all of us we said we missed you last year yeah Carolina thank you so much for your time you're welcome Cheers. thanks thanks a lot so there we heard from Carolina Marin we've done the women's singles the women's doubles let's talk about the mixed doubles because I'm excited about this because this is where we're not biased here on never mind the shot of Cox but this could be our best chance for a medal here at the tournament 100%. So we've got uh, kind of two hopefuls leading into the, the championships. We've got Marcus and Lauren, uh, recently won the Thailand Masters, uh, progressing up through the rankings, doing really, really well this year. Uh, and then we've also... And you, you can never discount the Adcocks no. in this one. I mean, they've, they've, they've been at the top of this, uh, of, of our hopes in this particular discipline for, for a number of years. Um, great experience, have been in the semi-finals here. And I think you can't underestimate that experience of playing in front of the bigger crowds towards home the weekend. Home turf as well. On home play? turf. Home turf. It's all about mentality, right? Leading it's all in the there. Olympics, qualifying yeah. points. It's a really, huge really important tournament, tournament for them. For them. Fantastic. Um, so, you know, and I think we need to be telling everybody to actually come down and, and support. We need as well, the support. We need, right? they need so, the support. So get down here, support them. Bring your flags. The, Please come support. Leave your boo boo zailers at home, but come and support yeah. here in Birmingham. Uh, so we talk about the men's doubles as well because there's a, a lot of great matches going to happen down in that. Yeah, I'll let you lead. <laughs> where, 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 where do we, do we even start with the men's doubles? So I think everyone's talking about like, look. look the minions versus the daddies. Yeah. Kevin and Marcus. Wait a minute, the minions versus the daddies. It yes. sounds like something you book for a children's party. Though. That will mean nothing Bring to your you. children down as well, right? <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's yeah. a family problem. Exactly. Um, so Kevin and Marcus and Mohammed Arsan and Hendra Siti Arwan. Yeah. So Kevin and Marcus, champions in 2017 and 2018, surprisingly went out early last year, yeah. which allowed uh, Arsan and Seti Arwan to swoop in and win it. Um, that does them a disservice because they are an amazing pair. But um, you know, I think if, you, if you look at uh, the records over the last few months in terms of what they're winning consistently, yeah, yeah. right, it's looking really strong. It's pretty much if, if one of them doesn't win, the, the other, other one, one wins really? the tournament. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. So I mean, you don't do not bet against a no. uh, Minions v Daddies final. I mean, Minions that is Minions v Daddies. This is listening. Yeah, You've both Indonesian. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've got interviews with uh, with with Kevin and Marcus, Marcus later yeah, on yeah. to show a full interview, but. To give you a flavour of our catch up with Kevin and Marcus earlier, um, it was obviously Marcus's birthday on Monday at the beginning of this week, so we decided to give him a typical English birthday present. Birthday. Hello, thank Cheers. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Have a look through. So oh, it's, there's okay. some uh, typical uh, British gifts in there. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, maybe for after. That's yeah. a celebration. If you win, that's, <laughs> that's your if, celebration. If, if. Yeah. Otherwise, getting too fat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get in trouble with the coach. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, caramel candy, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. All the fat things here. I know, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So no yeah, I, there's, is there some, is there I some, love it, the fat things. Is there some shortbread in there as well? Or? Oh, so there's, yeah, so here you go. This is the traditional English oh, gift. Okay. Yeah, Thank you very tea. much. But no, happy birthday. Thank you. And as I say, good luck. Good luck this week. All right, thank you so much for your time, you. guys. Thank you. So who wouldn't be happy with some shortbread for a birthday present? Oh, it was the tea for me. The moment I saw the tea, I thought I should have kept that for myself. Uh, I was gutted. It's, it's definitely the duck, the Shakespeare duck <laughs> yeah, in the bath. Yeah, nice. Listen, nice. That's, that's mine. This is important stuff, lads, but let's move on to maybe the most important chat uh, of this show, the big one, the men's singles. Yep. A lot of people talking about this, a lot of anticipation. Go on, who should we look out for? So let's rewind, rewind back to last year's championships, the final between Kento Momoto and Victor Axson. 
amazing final, oh, absolutely brother. amazing. And since then, Kento was winning everything, right? There's hardly anything that he was losing. Yeah, yeah, I, think, sure. I think he had the longest streak. It was like 10 was tournaments it, it? he won last year, yeah, which is some sort of incredible long. record. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, unfortunately, he's not going to be with us this year. Yeah. Uh, hope you're getting well. Hope, hopefully we'll see you next year at the championship. We'll bring you some shortbreads. Um, yes, we will do. And I think off the back of that, there was probably a lot of people that were thinking, right, maybe this is my moment now. Cheers from Copenhagen <laughs> all the yeah. way to Jakarta. Honestly, I think it opened up the, the men's singles so much. Oh, so okay. um, obviously Victor, as you say, yeah. but uh, players like Anthony Ginting, um, you know, we, we again, we've got another interview with him later on in the week, but he, uh, is often regarded across social media as this uh, great player and he's just not really ever shown it here. Yeah. So this is a really great opportunity for him as it's opened up now to really prove just how good a player, and he's great, he's amazing. So I think that there's there's so many different options. Again, I could just give you a list of names. Um, I think the one to watch out for is Chu Tian Chen, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, lovely guy uh, and I think he's got a really good chance, consistent, he's 30 now, uh, experienced and really knows his game inside out. He's my pick, and, and, and getting better as he and gets older. And getting better as he gets older, right? I, I, he's my pick. You heard it here first. Well, and what, you heard what it a here link, because guess what? We have an interview with Chu Tian Chen. How does it feel yeah. to be the number one seed for the All England? Uh, I uh, ne never think about it because uh, I'm ranking is number two. I thought I will number two seed, but uh, this one, uh, number one seed is is quite is uh, amazing because uh, before I play the All England, I just um, qualify to play the All England. Now I'm number one seed. I just thanks God because I can uh, grow up here to the. Uh, most of the uh, best players, so I am very exciting to uh, play this All England. Yeah. Who is your badminton idol? Who is your hero growing up? Yeah, I think uh, it's Lee Chong Wei because his attitude, uh, his uh, spirit, is really touch me because uh, something my skills, my uh, my mind thinking, uh, always learn from uh, his uh, movement, uh, his move is uh, from video or something I, I just see in life. So it's really a uh, really good man. Yeah. How would you describe your playing style? My playing style maybe just some, sometimes control, sometimes attack, uh, just made a my uh, uh, opponent uh, really confused. I think it's my best play. Yes. What would what would be a your what would be the I'm trying to think how to phrase this question? <laughs> what would be a good 2020 for you? What would that look like? I look like to in improve myself because uh, this year I'm 30 years old. I I still improve. It's uh, God give me the a gift to improve what I just what I age. Just is um, just a uh, uh, very surprise of me because not many athletes uh, improve in the 30 years old. So maybe I will try in uh, this year 2020. Yeah. Who do you think will be your biggest opponents this week? Maybe it's myself <laughs> because I need to do one one hundred percent to to the court because I think uh, early is this year I I didn't do well so I need to uh, be my attitude good be my skill good be my body good so uh, everything I need to uh, be the one hundred percent yeah. Would you rather win the All England or? get a medal at the Olympics? Uh, I think uh, this will be my uh, testing for uh, Olympic Games because it's all England, it's the best player it will come to here. So I want to try uh, how I look like and uh, I can, uh, after all England, I can more improve, more uh, look myself 
and uh, looking for for uh, Olympic games. Olympic games. Yeah. That's great, fun. Thank you very much. Your English is great. It's great. <laughs> oh my goodness! Really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank, really thank you. Good. You give me a confidence. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You improved me. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty to check out here at the All England Championships. You can join us every night here on Nevermind the Shuttlecocks. We'll be reviewing all the action, giving you some little behind the scenes stuff as well as some interviews. Uh, and you can check it out on the All England socials and hashtag NMTS if you want to get involved. Then get involved in other ways as well, mate, right? Yeah, please, um, if you see us around, have a chat with us about, about your thoughts about the tournament as well. We want to hear from you guys, the fans. Um, we're all quite needy people, so we want recognition. <laughs> please give us yeah. recognition. Yeah, if, 100%. If you're this one, particularly this one. If your dad makes a good biryani as well, then oh. send us a video of that. If you want to send any food in, yeah, yeah, food. We, we will happily. Well, accept look, let's that. make it interesting. Yeah. Let's make it interesting. Okay. First one of us yeah. to get a selfie where somebody else in the crowd hashtags us in with NMTS. The yeah. other two have to buy him dinner and drinks that you've night, added yeah. dinner hey, yeah well, i thought we'd agree very drinks. nicely too the only way you can do that is buying a ticket and coming right so oh, so make sure you get down here and watch it seamless <laughs> lovely so buy a ticket and watch our show Tune yeah. in.